Now I can't tell which is worse, this one or the chair. <laughs> The GOC. Actually, this one's worse. Think about it. Yeah. Each pilot is alive, and they're stuck in this glitchy, half alive, half not alive state, and permanent pain. All right, all right, Cherry. Here's is SCB twenty three thirty six, aka the world, the word, just the word. Wait, I just looked at underneath it is Doctor Spanko. <laughs> Read it so I can eat more. Sure. Sure, I can. I'm sorry. Oh, it used to be Euclid. Something happened. Oh, oh. And it's short. <laughs> Alright. Would <clears throat> she talk to Spink out there? The word of God? No. It's the word of SCP. Anyways. <laughs> Item. SCP-2336. Object class used to be Euclid, now Keter. Special containment procedures. The Foundation maintains a network of observation sites to monitor and report the emergence of, of any Howard Strauss gateways that are formed other than through neural foundation activities. If such gateway is formed, we'll task force TAL-16. It's to be dispatched. Consult document 23. 36-N for details of engagement protocol for the Type 1 and Type 2 entities that typically arrive through such a gateway. Note, see supplemental component procedures in addendum 1 below. Description. SV-2336 is a sequence of enemies not known to correspond to any mean meaning in any living or known extinct language. Document 2336-A contains a representation of 2336 and an international phonetic alphabet. The vocal articulation of this phonemy sequence by a human subject has been experimentally demonstrated to result in a formation of a Howard Strauss gateway, which is Bensfield Peter invocation of topological transformations to ensure one way interdimensional passageway. Observer in SCB Foundation Journal 2003, 18-C-23, as well as 88 through 89. Okay then. <laughs> Normally having a duration of 2 to 11 seconds. Formation of a of such a gateway frequently results in arrival of type 1 or type 2 Tartarian entity designated as instance of dash A. Although instances of Dash A are frequently hostile through trial and error, the Foundation has developed a reliable protocol for containing them, communicating with them, documenting their characteristics, and most recently controlling them and applying their capabilities towards research purposes and other useful activities. Such as request for permission to apply 2336 to supply summon an instance of Dash A for research purposes under control conditions are to be directed to the evocation department. An excerpt of the containment processing log for instances of 2336-A follows. First, I'm going to see what this third trial and error is. SCP-001! It's connected to a proposal? Oh, really? Uh-oh. Object class is side. I don't know what that is. I'm not sure if that's bad, good, what. So give me a moment. Alright. SAP object class side. Okay, I got an answer. Isad, an object class used solely in Spike Brain's proposal and 001 proposal. Both in in and out of universe, this is a sole SCP with an Isad's object class. In general, the class refers to the SCP that serves as the literal foundation of the 
SCP, SCP Foundation operations. In more detail, it refers to the single blind spot of the Judeo-Christian God, and a structure built within the blind spot. The structure is used to house and protect the majority of the O5 Command and the Ethics Committee, certain members of senior management, and the Foundation's Thermaturgic Research Program. Apparently, uh, Isad also, also means a fundamental basis or foundation. Okay. Now it makes more sense. So, okay, so now we know what Yasad means. It's only only one SCP has that classification. A phenomenon is a way of perceptually distinct units of sound in a specified language and distinguish one word from another. Oh, thanks, Booker. Alright, destination. Uh twenty three thirty six A dash A one non sapient hexapod max approximately eighteen hundred kilograms emits slime composed of highly con concentration of sulfur and phosphorus. Application milk for chemical compounds for research and industrial use. <laughs> okay, foundation. <laughs> Designation twenty three thirty six dash A eight non sapient tetrapod with a body plant superficially resembling a rhinoceros. Max approximately 1,200 kilograms. Body temperature is in excess of 260 degrees Celsius. Breeze fire. Powers turbine to supply electricity to Site 38. Is the Foundation just en enslaving these SCP, <laughs> this SCP creatures? Because the, the first two are non sapient, so they, they don't have the ability to say no. Oh no. <laughs> 2336 A210. Sapient biped. Reddish hide. Use. Oh wait, no, I, I skipped one. Sorry. 2336 A872. Sapient visible body pan plants. Assumed to be bipedal and winged. Capable of communicating in classical Arabic. Third interviews claims to be composed of smokeless flame of fire. Capable of levitating. Alright, uh, application, containment chamber integrated to into elevator site 32, economize energy, to economize energy use. They're just abusing this SCP, this Keter. <laughs> this poor Keter. <laughs> 2336-8. 10 saving biped, reddish hide, use as gas filter and modified Maxwell engine to overcome thermodynamics. Alright, 2376-8322, saving biped, air descent, descent, descent hide, consciousness imprinted into Laplace processor for computational purposes. What the fuck? It does sound slightly like Wait. they're enslaving all of them. Wait, is this what I think it is? No, it's not. I thought it was the yearbook for a second. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's uh, 2336 A416. Semi sapient with an irregular body plant. Capable of summoning an apparent unlimited supply of live non anomalous. Muscia domestica from an unknown source. Flies crushed and processed for use as fertilizer and for other industrial purposes. Twenty three thirty six A four sixteen. Same with irregular body plan, capable of summoning an apparent. Oh wait, I read the wrong one. A twenty three thirty six A six six six. biped interviews indicate. 2336-A666 Company's a position of authority in a society accessed by means of the gateway. After negotiations in exchange for recovery of personnel who had been lost during the containment breach of 1844. Addendum 1. Further research indicates that certain conditions 
a vocal articulation of 2336 is likely to result in a much larger Howard Strauss gateway, thereby resulting in a risk that is much larger Tartarian entity, possibly one or more type VIII entities could manifest. Thus, it indicates that three exemplarating factors are approximately the human subject to redacted at the time that 2336 is articulated, location designated as location K. One of the human subjects, a member of the Y chromosomal haplogroup, redacted. Uh, astronomical conditions specified in Appendix 2336-S. Manifestations of even one type VIII entity would personally constitute a Category 7 XK eschatological condition to mitigate risk. Supplemental containment procedures have been adopted in order to lessen risk that 2336 could be articulated under conditions when one or more risk factors are present. Access to location K has been restricted by placing landfill at site. Foundation has developed a, ten a Terra token, an integrated water supply geographical area where most of the population haplogroup group redacted resides for the purpose of causing individuals born in that area to have conjectural anatomical defects with which rendered them physically unable to vocalize the phenomes. Proposals to and three proposals to address astronomical conditions are under consideration. So you gotta have Y chromosomes in near a certain place to make a bigger portal. I I see how this SCP is dangerous because of that one type entity, but the foundation is more like more abusing it. <laughs> Can I treat it? Yeah, but they did admit that it could get to XK. I mean, it, they 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 did say how dangerous it could get if they didn't address it. The XK. Yeah, I, I I'm not saying it won't go in XK. I'm just saying this poor anomaly got fused. <laughs> Where's the ethics committee? <laughs> the ethics committee is probably glad that they were able to get some personnel back. Yeah, I mean, fire everything right now. Yeah, well, they could just contain it. They didn't have to like force it into labor. <laughs> To be fair, the first one is probably happy that it gets that because yeah. when animals don't get milk, they actually get very uncomfortable. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the rest, probably not so much. <laughs> In fact, did you know that there's actually current machines where animals can walk into it and it milks them? Ah. So animals literally choose to get milk. To release, to release the discomfort. Ah, do you want to read the next one? Or are you, you still eating? I can read the next one. What number is it? Uh, SCP uh, 2342, a.k.a. Uh, is may Syncrestiste. That's probably going to be annoying to read. Oh, well, there you go, Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's in the footnotes. That's cute. That also makes it a bit harder. Open like a new tab. Object class Peter, special containment procedures. All information regarding SCP 2342 should be stored away with an, an image based metamedic compression algorithm. No statistic information regarding SCP 2342 should be, goddamn, should be recorded in any other fashion. Any request for the SCP 2342 file in the database should. Return a page devoid of text bar barring standard data anchors and to be accompanied by an image block with a human targeted metamedic. Memetic. So they're literally doing this as as part of the SCP. Ah. Me, but that is, that's fair. It's it's on theme. 
The approach is described in the MetaMedic standard of 2342 document MS 2342, which is itself encoded in MS 2342 standard. I literally can't click that link because of how it's set up. This annoys me. Okay. Using Emma 2342 approach, data regarding XP2342 should appear to human viewers with human style ne neutral structures or minds otherwise susceptible to human targeted memetics as database standard encoding footnote. Addendum. After incident GSL 2342 1, support tickets for this page cannot be entered into the system. Ongoing suppression on the nature of 2342 is to be maintained by Mobile Task Force Gamma 5 Red Herring with a two pronged strategy of portraying it as a parody re religion while simultaneously suppressing. Publication of the Sina Unisalia and SCP 2342 2. Description SCP 2342 refers, refers collectively to a region known as Discordonismi Syncretisti. Synchristic discordiumism, or simply discordiumism, SCP-2342-1, its primary holy book known as Luatre Principia, or the other Principia, SCP-2342-2, and its adherents, SCP-2342-3, SCP-23, 42-3 instances geographically are mostly restricted to Poitou, Charlottes region in France. No wonder it's so fucking hard to read! <laughs> Probably saying every fucking thing wrong, too. It just pisses me off. The few known exceptions are members of groups of interest such as an art cells, the Mana Charitable Foundation, and the Chaos Insurgency. SCP-2342-1 is a syncretism between traditional discordium and multiple other regions, including including fifth fifth the Church of the Broken God, Worship of the Greek Goddess, Nike, and another religion of indeterminate predominantly draws from traditional discordium, favoring the third edition of Principia Discordia and revering Eris as the most important deity. The influences from other sources have altered its core doctrine substantially. Core beliefs of SCP-2342-1 include a reverence of disorder, worship of an informally dense data sets, and attempting to be conjugal terms with all known deities. There are excerpts within SCP-2342-2 of multiple religious texts, including Signiac des Exoiles, a French language re Publication of SCP-1425, Victoria Eile, Winged Victory, a, tri a treatise of actions of Nike in Semoferis during the Second World War, suppressed by the Foundation since 1987 as part of ongoing containment of SCP-1173. Levis de the Asier, the Book of Steel Ashes, a holy text of the Broken Church. Let Principi 
La Principia Distor Discordia, the Sama Universia, and an unknown text named Jesse Redemptor. SCP-2342-2 identifies the broken god variably as Aneris or Harmonia, portraying it to be an avatar representing the order in the universe. This is an opposition of Discordia's primary deity, Eris or Discordia, an avatar representing the disorder within the universe. SCP-2342-3 instances are able to detect when an object or information that they had a significant contribution designing or creating and observed by a human mind. This includes work, writing, music, engineering, and code. The ability extends to der derivative work. For example, one instance has been recorded knowing when a photograph of their home, I mean, of their house, which they had drafted and themselves was being viewed. SCP-2342-3 instances can discern a certain fact, can discern certain facts about humans who are currently viewing their work. Specifically, they can determine a viewer's name of birth, a viewer's name at birth, common name, birth date, home address, occupation, religion, blood type, insurance details, annual income, and their mother's maiden name. They remain aware of this information after the observer ceases viewing their work, though their knowledge does not remain up to date. SCP-2342-3 instances are not made aware of the viewer's later change. I mean, aware of the viewer's later change. Their, if the viewer later changes the, the address or other details. SCP-2342-3 instances are also able to detect when human written information referring to them as being viewed, as well as content of them of that information. This was not understood at time of the first documentation, resulting in multiple information breaches. Incident GSL-2342-1 up to dash four. As the original version of this documentation was encoded textually, SCP-2342-3 instances at the time were made aware of that they had been detailed in that documentation. <clears throat> Similarly, the personal information of various researchers and staff was made known to all SCP-2342-3 instances at the time. Because of the radically altered nature of their neural patterns, SCP-2342-3 instances are entirely immune to standard human targeting metamedic. Mimetic, I mean. However, some SCP-2442-3 instances have shown the ability to analyze such memetics, deducting the effect that they would have on a normal human mind. Prior to implementation at the current MS-2342 encoding standard, the MS-2342 ARC standard encoded information on one deep level displaying plain text hallucinations on this page and other SCP-2342 documentation. Due to the simplicity of the encoding, this information, I mean, this allowed some SCP-2342-3 instances to recognize when this documentation was being viewed. Depending on their, their familiar, familiarity with the MS-2342 ARC standard, this resulted in Later information breaches, incident 42 GSL 2342 5 and 6, until a stronger memetic encryption could be devised. The current MS 2342 standard embeds data on multiple levels, obfuscating the information from all known SCP 2342 3 instances. <clears throat> The following is an extract from SCP-2342-2 translated to English from the original French. Efforts have been made to keep the tone of translation consistent with that of the original. Five fresh bits on fives. High fives historically was high fives. Veneration and all that, as well as the drug thing. Five was good. On high, 
a whole and holy, etc. This ob was obvious to fifth six. The reverence, though, was misplaced. Eric took a peek over her fence, and lo, she spoke aloud. Hey, that's my number, guy. What? But the physicist didn't hear, and the five eyes pointed and laughed. Her heiress grabbed a few, threw them into France, slapped them over the head, and said, I hope you're paying attention. Whereupon she detest, detest, dictated the better part of this book over the course of a hazy night. When we woke from the drug comas, the fuck? She'd already nicked off, leaving a few hundred bound pages sitting in the middle of the table. On it, the following words, the other Principia, since the first one didn't work, or how the West was in a loss and found a boss the whole, found a boss the whole time. We had a look inside and saw some odd parts. Eric took, I mean, Eric was a big drunk, see, and we were a lot drunk. Time she ran off and grabbed some of other folks, invited them to the party too. So the words weren't all hers. Some were from Nike, her longtime drinking partner. Others from, were from old Marin too. Though mostly words scribbled on the margins. A few parts about a broken guy, Jesse, remember quite well, had struck a few words too. Finally, Eris herself had written a note on the back and signed, what's in this book is 100% true. Make sure you get me really popular this time around. Don't worry, you'll be able to tell. So that's her plan. Holy cow and holy cow. Five on fives on fives. And snored and snored again. Hail Eris, all hail Discordia. The fuck? So oh, that was a while. Uh, that was it, it, it's an interesting concept to use for an SCP, but a bit difficult to do. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Does it do a whole lot of damage though? Is the question. No idea. I focused so much on reading that nothing really soaked into me. Hopefully Booker was paying attention. <laughs> it wasn't that I was paying attention, it was just that I was trying to get to, you know, those other links he click and failed. <laughs> That's valid. This is an annoying SCP. Looks like it's a holy book. So I guess as long as you don't read it, you're fine. It's a holy book made by a drunk god. I'll be right back. I need to drink more water. Okay. I was not fully paying attention to this book. I guess probably a certain group. That's what I'm going to guess. I'll wait for Jerry to get back. Because this one was hard to do. Uh, but funny enough, uh, the next SCP is, is the next one that's going to be read. I just realized this SCP was dangerous. Yeah. Well, think about it. They literally released S the Foundation's information multiple times. Yes. Okay, so the next SCP, yes, it is Keter, but it overwrites the file twice. From Euclid to Sate. Uh. 
So I'll probably read the final one because it has the most information. All right. So, so I said we. Sh I, I said certain groups because you, because the people who are reading it get affected. Well, also the foundation was affected multiple times. So it's not just people reading it. All right. It's not just people reading it. Yeah. Okay. So. Next SCP. It's getting late, so I'm going to leave the chat. I'll listen from the, the Twitch. Okay. This is probably going to be the last SCP of the night anyways. Alright. Okay. Uh, Alright. Okay. Let's Next see. SCP is... SCB-2343, a.k.a. How I Got to Memphis. Alright, SV 2343, error number 0013, file overwritten, please notify your on duty tech supervisor for more information. Item SV 2343, object class used to be Euclid, I mean, used to be Keter, used, then changed to Euclid, then changed to Satan. Special containment procedures SV 2343 is to be contained in a standard humanoid containment cell at Site 88. And amenity requests are, su are subject to approval from the 2343 project director, due to object's voluntary containment, the continued cooperation of 2343 is a top priority. The use, use of 2343 is a possible translator for 2280, which is, cur is currently pending review. SCP-2343 is a humanoid entity roughly 2.2 meters tall and weighing 62 kilograms. 2343 is not actively hostile, 2343 displays physical fitness roughly analogous to an individual in his early 20s. 2343 has not shown any signs of aging since confinement in 2005. Police are called to a domestic, domestic disturbance in Germantown, Tennessee, a suburb of Memphis, Memphis Tennessee, in 2005. Once on site, the police... Oh, wait, hold on. I, it's, I, I forgot to change it back. There we go. Much better. It's on site. This place gave, gave completely different reports relating the subject of, of the complaint. The individual, individual identified as Peter Panepi was taken into custody. Subject was transferred to a foundation custody at, on September 5th. And the then you have to click in order, in order to get to its final destination. Was uh, listen up, you sideways assholes. <laughs> I know you know it's this for the end of the day. So I'll pass it up the chair. You will folks spend your entire lives worried about what you've got locked up. Well, it ain't, ain't what's on the inside that's gonna get to you. It's what's still in outside. You know how my wife used to knock me around. I've been taking it for a few thousand years, so the rest of you are great assholes so could build something. And if she finds out I'm down here, if she finds out what you've done, she won't stop until the whole damn world is drowning in her blood. She's done it before and she'll do it again. But y'all ain't gonna let me out, that's fine. What's my own body got me in this mess anyway? I hope you find her and you can knock her like you locked me up. Otherwise, y'all die and I'm left to make the world all over. Over there again from the ashes. I'm old and am tired, and I don't know if I got another run left in me. That's what I'm off. Take it or leave it. And that's the anomaly. Yeah, because if you go here, it shows us Euclid. Then it shows this key to right here. But if you go to addendum, look, it's Euclid. And if you go to the sideways assholes, you're all the way to the safe. So 
this this SCP the creator of our world? I guess. I guess you could say that, or they believe they are. Right, <laughs> I agree, Shrek. Now the real problem is where the fuck to put it. <laughs> Yeah. It could, it could go and reassign, but it's also dangerous. It could reassign because it's safe now, I guess. So everyone's thinking, I guess it can go there. Makes sense because it reclassify itself. <laughs> Did talk about something world danger, a thing that's gonna affect our world and cause danger. Other than that, it's roughly safe. 